In the final days of Trump's presidency, and amid his increasingly desperate efforts to hold onto power, his legal supporters are beginning to turn on one another after the latest unhinged tweets from L. Lynn Wood, a lawyer behind a series of failed pro-Trump lawsuits challenging the election results. Friday night, the Trump campaign lawyer Jenna Ellis wrote, To be clear, I do not support the statements from attorney Lynn Wood. I support the rule of law and the U.S. Constitution. Wood responded to Ellis Saturday, writing that he was fighting for both, seven years before you were born. Another surprising critic, Wood's former client, Nicholas Sandman, the former Kentucky high school student who sued major media companies over their coverage of his conflict in front of the Lincoln Memorial during a school trip, tweeted in response to Wood's Pence remark, I'm sorry but what the hell. Look carefully at those who are calling me insane and urging my arrest, Wood tweeted Friday night. What is their agenda? Do they have something to hide and do not want truth revealed? You will have to make your own choice as to whether you believe in me." Wood, 68, first gained national notoriety in 1996 when he represented Richard Jewell, a security guard that was falsely accused in the Olympic Park bombing in Atlanta. According to the New York Times, Wood's recent clients include Marjorie Taylor Greene, a QAnon supporter who was recently elected to Congress, Mark and Patricia McCloskey, the couple who waved firearms at demonstrators outside their St. Louis home, and Kyle Rittenhouse, the teenager charged with fatally shooting protesters in Kenosha, Wisconsin. Wood told The Times he has spoken with Trump about fraud and illegality in the 2020 election on more than one occasion. Last month, Wood appeared alongside Trump's former national security adviser Michael Flynn and controversial pro-Trump attorney Sidney Powell at a rally in Atlanta. At that event, Wood called for Governor Brian Kemp to be arrested. On New Year's Eve, Wood, who is believed to be a supporter of the QAnon conspiracy theory, tweeted that convicted sex offender Jeffrey Epstein is still alive. On Friday afternoon, he wrote, The tweets about my insanity are at an all-time high this morning. Wonder why? No worries. I am fine. The attacks do not concern me whether Twitter will retaliate against Wood. Wood is dating Fox News host Janine Pirro, according to the New York Times. Federal judge throws out Gohmert lawsuit asking Pence to interfere in electoral college count, CNN, Donald Trump Jr. To Georgia voters, my father's accomplishments are on your ballot, in Senate races, Forbes.